Hi there, welcome to Using DIY, my name's Ben. In this video, we're setting up this petrol strimmer from Buco. Okay, so I've got a battery powered pair of strimmer at the minute, used for the lawn, but it's not that powerful. Obviously all right for grass, but we've got a lot of uh, shrubbery, bushes around the back um, that need cutting away basically. Um, and it'll probably need doing quite often, maybe a couple of times a year. So rather than um, hiring one, we've gone and got ourselves a, a petrol uh, strimmer. We've got this one from Buco, it's uh, from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description, around the £120 mark. It does go up and down on price uh, on Amazon, but we got it for about 120 So this video, we're gonna unbox it, see what we get inside, get it built and give it a try. Okay, first up, I'm just gonna open it up on the table, get all the parts out and see what we've got inside. I'll run through each of the things as I open them out of the box. Okay, so we'll open things and uh, explain what they are in each one. So we've got the brush cutter blade here. So this is the blade, see if I can get into it safely. That blade, which is going to be good for cutting away loads of shrubs and stuff and uh, what they're called, um, like nettles and the other spiky bush, I forgot what it's called now actually. But anyway, um, that's a harness that comes with it. So that's a harness support uh, that you can wear over your shoulders to hold the weight of the machine itself. We've got a de-rusting weeding wheel. So this, if you can see that, hopefully, is uh, used for getting rid of moss and uh, build up of moss and other similar material on like driveways and paths. We've got again some of that out of the back so that'll come in really useful. Uh, we've got some ear defenders or ear muffs made in China. I've got this face protector. So obviously you've got to build that yourself. Uh, but that'll be quite good when you're uh, cutting away at things and it's flying all over the place. Uh, there is a mixing bottle for oil and petrol. Uh, is a 1 to 40 ratio for the uh, oil. Um, I think that's the rest of the protective headgear. And the rest of it is just all the different parts of the machine itself. That's, I think that's going to be the guard for the bottom of the strimmer uh, to stop things flying back in your face or at your legs and feet. There's a bag of accessories by the looks of it. Let's have a look what you get in the bag of accessories. That's a funnel for the bottle to pour your petrol oil in. This is the strimmer head. So it's come with um, strimming wire um, already installed inside that, which is good. It's nice, nice and thick as well. It's exactly what I wanted this type of thing for the more uh, robust strimming. A pair of protective gloves. Have a look. Fairly decent, made of a thick fabric and a, I think that is a lever actually, possibly. Quite cheaply made, but good enough to come with and to use periodically. Some protective eye, eye gear. Some spare trimmer line. A bag of tools and screws. So that's obviously going to be used for putting the um, everything together. Comes with a spare pat, uh, spark plug as well for the motor. Um, but everything in there you need. And lastly, in there you got the instruction book. Obviously, how to put it together and how to use it. I'm hoping because I've got no idea. So I'll put these bits back inside the uh, parts bag. Rest of it, again, is just parts for the actual. So, so we've got the motor there, inside there. Okay, everything's unboxed there, looking good. Quality of, it's, of the build and etc seems pretty good so far. Um, obviously some stuff, because it's a cheaper one than you can get, obviously uh, more maybe of a budget DIY one. Um, yeah, everything seems pretty good so far. Um, everything's labelled up. Um, obviously I need to build, put this all together now, so I need to put the put the poles onto the rest of this motor, um, onto the, create the full arm put the support arm on, put the harness on and see how we get on. 
I'll uh, build it using a time lapse now and just show you the process. Okay, all sort of done. Need to get some petrol to fill up the tank, obviously put some petrol in. Uh, but the blade's installed. Um, just getting the order, order the right way around was a little bit tricky, but it got there in the end with that. Um, but it's installed now with the washers in the right order, hopefully. Um, so yeah, we'll get some petrol, um, get it filled up, see if we can get it started and get chopping. Okay, harness attached. We've got it going. Need to get outside now, get some petrol put in it and we'll start cutting. Harness were a bit of a pain in the ass to fit, uh, but managed to get it fitted okay in the end, sorry. Uh, just had to adjust it a little bit just to bring it higher up my hip. Um, still don't look right. I think it's still pulling a bit wrong, but we'll see how we get on and I can adjust it while we're using it if we need to.
Okay, back inside now after doing all the work out there on that back pathway. Uh, really, really happy with uh, with the machine itself. Uh, really good to use and obviously really powerful in terms of the work I was able to do out there. Got rid of all that, um, all the shrubbery, if that's the right word. Uh, some of the, obviously the weeds, tons of it out there. Cut through it with the, the brush cutter blade, uh, the strimmer, and then use the steel uh, circular steel tool as well to get rid of the moss and some built-in like kind of weeds into the path. Um, so overall, as you saw from the time lapses, uh, I managed to get through quite a lot of there, just probably in a, in a couple of hours overall. Um, so yeah, really, actually really enjoyed using it in terms of cutting through all that stuff and what to do for a while now. Um, I just want to go through a few of the pros and cons. Um, so just if you're looking to buy this or a similar uh, brush cutter or strimmer, Obviously you can use some of the things I've found from it, maybe making your decision on, on, on what you're buying yourself. Um, so some of the pros, um, I think for the price, for £120, with what you get included within, not just the actual trimmer itself, but you get all the accessories, the mixing bottle, the eye protection, the ear protection, the gloves, etc. I think that's fantastic to get included within the £120. Um, some stuff, obviously you're starting out in something, you have to buy all the additional accessories, it can build up in price. So um, in terms of value for money, excellent, £120 when you think about it, it's a really, really good deal. Uh, another pro of the uh, of the strimmer is kind of the multi-use. So obviously you've got, I know it's not a multi-use um, product as such, but you've got the multiple uses in terms of the attachments on the end with a brush cutter blade, strimmer. And the um, and the metal grinder, the metal grinder as well. Um, so yeah, so the the fact it's so easy to change over those accessories as well um, is really good. Um, and the instructions are quite clear on how to do that. Some of the pictures aren't great, but the instructions are, are good. Uh, just touching on the instructions, there it is quite easy to use in terms of setting up and actually turning the turning the machine on. Sometimes I've had a, uh, like chainsaws; it can be a little bit daunting because it's a motor, because it's petrol in terms of the safety element, so it can be quite daunting. Uh, but the instructions are quite clear, and it is pretty simple, really, as long as you're confident enough to get going, really. So yeah, ease of, ease of use is another pro. Another pro, which is pretty obvious, is the power. It's a 50cc motor, or 49cc, I think. I'll confirm that in the title and description. But it is powerful. Um, I've only ever been used to using um, a, a battery-powered strimmer for the grass. Um, so obviously they're not very powerful in terms of the output they give and what they can cut. But this thing is a beast. You know, it's, it's not the most expensive one you can buy, but in terms of what it can cut through and the ease it cuts through it is unbelievable. So yeah, the power output, which is pretty obvious because that's what you're buying, but when you're using it in reality, while you're doing it, sometimes when it rips through them weeds and the bushes, etc., it is really good. Um, and I've not done that massive big of an area really, so you can imagine the stuff you could get through of it really, really good. So over to the cons, there aren't that many. Um, for that price, I don't think you can complain about that much. Uh, but there are a couple of cons. Um, in terms of the weight, it is quite heavy. Um, obviously, most of the weight being at the rear, on the motor, etc. Uh, but as you saw on the video, I did use the harness, which does help with that weight. Um, and it does distribute the weight quite well if you, you know, got it over your shoulders. So it is heavy. You probably couldn't use it without the harness. Um, you could, but it'd be a, it would be a nightmare. Um, so it's just one thing to bear in mind in terms of the weight of it. Uh, but it's not like it's really, really heavy. It's just of a prolo prolonged use of it. Um, if you didn't have the harness, and even with the harness, it is quite heavy. Um, I mentioned the harness. Another con, and I think it was because of my height. So I'm, for reference, I'm six foot four. Uh, with the harness on, and with it strapped to the my hip on the thigh protector bit. I still felt like I was having to lean forward to get, grab the handles. So I think if you were smaller, if you were lower, they wouldn't be that lean. So I think you can adjust some of the things which I might do the next time. So it's not a con as such, generally, because if you are smaller, it probably would be fine. It's just getting that adjustment right, which I did have to do on the harness. Um, so it's not a con, it's just something to be aware of if you are going to use it. Uh, the third con and the final con, because as I say, there aren't that many, was the um, the clip that clips from the uh, arm of the device, the machine, onto the harness. It is quite fiddly. Um, you hook it on and push it, push another metal another metal bar through this hole. Um, 
So it's quite hard to lift it up because of the weight onto kind of your thigh while you're doing it and then push the bracket through. Um, so it's not totally difficult, it is easy to do, it's just a little bit fiddly when trying to do it. Uh, so I, and it is, I'm kind of clutching at straws a little bit in terms of finding, finding cons. Um, it's not a real bad thing, it wouldn't stop you buying it. It's again, just something you need to bear in mind when using it. And if you're, if you're out using it for you know, a good half an hour at a time, you don't have to take it off very often either. Okay, all done and dusted there. Uh, hopefully it's been a good informative video. Uh, if, if you're looking to buy this Buko uh, strimmer or brush cutter, um, we've obviously unboxed it, first of all, saw what we got in the box, which was, which was good, which was really good value for money in terms of what you got in there. I built it, which again, it's pretty simple to do, quite intuitive in terms of where things go, and the instructions are pretty good telling you what to do. Um, the hardest bit I found was probably fitting on the, um, the guard at the bottom, uh, just because it was quite fiddly to get the little bracket on. But again, nothing nothing stupendous, pretty easy to do. Uh, so we did the build, we then put it to use, got some petrol and mixed it with oil and put that into the motor and then used it. Um, as I mentioned before, real uh, joy to use really in terms of seeing it rip through your weeds and your bushes and, your, and uh, any brush. Um, so yeah, really good. So hopefully it's been good to watch, it's been informative kind of giving you an idea of what the product can do, what it can't do, um, pros and cons, price, etc. So if you have liked this video, it's been informative and good for you, give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If it hasn't for any reason, uh, give it a dislike and let me know in the comment what you didn't like about the video. Um, drop any questions you've got into the comment section, questions about the way I was using it, uh, the product itself, anything I didn't cover in the video, or any other questions you've got, drop them into the comment section. I will reply to all questions. Um, and if you'd like to follow the Houston DIY journey along, see other videos like this out in the garden now it's summer, and other DIY projects that we do cover, hit that subscribe button, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.